boys and girls, I was asked by one of the teachers, the 4-H teacher, um, whether I could create, a, do an art lesson with the 4-H clubites. And so I decided to very quickly show you the idea so that um, you can actually take a photo of it or you can trace it. So let me just bring it closer for you to be able to do that, boys and girls. And then I will tell you, I will describe it. Boys and girls, 4-H is um, a club that deals with many factors. And so I was trying to create um, get the spirit of 4-H. Now, 4-H deals with environment. And so the, I, I, it, automatically we live in a beautiful uh, environment. Dominica is filled with... Uh, a rainforest, lots of trees and mountains. So I decided in this design we're going to have some leaves, different types of leaves. We have the heart-shaped ones, we have like the palm tree. But one of our indigenous species is the parrot, which is our national bird. So I said, why not have its center as a... 4-H, the 4-H clubites, one of their goals are um, to protect the environment, to, um, to, to protect and, and, and nurture. So I decided to have uh, this parrot here uh, to show that we, we, this is our national bird and it's an endangered species. I also included butterflies to show life. And uh, unity, we have to unite. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's children who unite and do things together. And uh, it's also, um, we have to show love of our, it's patriotic, love of country and love of our family. And boys and girls, uh, we also have to take care of our bodies. And uh, yeah, uh, this is an in to inspire one another. So this is a little inspiration with the logo, the 4H logo. I decided to add it add it to there. So uh, this is for the boys and girls who are in 4H club. And I invite them to take a picture of this so that they'll be able to paint it. And um, yeah, it'll be lovely to see their work. I also... Um, to help uh, the boys and girls, I cut out some um, leaves so that they'll be able to um, they will be able to copy the leaves so to uh, on their their final piece. So here um, I have. The logo, the foish logo to help them to be able to draw it. But um, yeah, boys and girls, this is uh, um, for the 4 H club, club of Convent Prep. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see your work uh, after this lesson. Bye. So boys and girls, I'm just going to use some watercolors that I have a set and um, children's watercolor set and I'm just going to paint this uh, for you to have an idea of the colors uh, certainly you can go ahead and paint it any color you wish but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the colors uh, I would paint um, this beautiful painting for our 4-H, uh, trying to depict the spirit of 4-H. So you can, when you're using your paintbrush, you use the purple paint and you can just, to get the ruffled feather look, you can just dab your paintbrush like this. 
on your paper and um, yeah you just continue doing that all the way down after you've put the first layer of course you have to paint first the layer and then you just dab it like that so you're going to take this and you're going to start dabbing and remember the Cicero parrot remember when we did it back for um, the during the independence time I told you about feathers and you know how we can dab it for the feathers for the feathers um, of a bird or parrot and there we have it so we've got the the head of the parrot then the wings is a lovely lime green so we're gonna activate this green here to see and this is absolutely perfect a perfect green I would say for the Cicero and then you can even go in between the palm leaves that should be fine but it doesn't show where we can put the tip but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the tip right there so I'm gonna get some red and I'm just gonna paint this just to show that we remember that this Cicero parrot has some red feathers in it too, just the tip on the wing. And we're going to continue with the parrot. The beak is like a silver color, so we're going to add very light um, gray for the beak of our Cicero parrot. So what I did, I added, I dip, dipped my paintbrush in um, in the black and then I just went ahead and wet uh, the, the tip of the paintbrush so that it would be a watered black, watered down black color. All right, boys and girls, the eyes of the Cicero parrot is a lovely orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it orange like that and then leave the highlights in white if I can. No, I'll just have to go over it with white and the insides I will paint black. So we're just doing flat colors boys and girls today and um, we're just trying to create a lovely image for our and you see it's bleeding it's bleeding into the orange. The black is such a powerful color, boys and girls. So let's just take it off a little bit. And we're gonna go over our yellow. So you have to be aware of that. When you're using watercolors, yes, it will bleed. So <laughs> you have to, um, you have to remember that. All right, so there we have our Cicero parrot, and then we're going to paint the other green. Um, so we can add tertiary, make a tertiary color by adding yellow with our green. yellow with our green so I'm just going to add that here to our green so when you add yellow to green you get like a lime green color so yeah so we're going to color paint our trees in this deeper Actually, it has some blue in it, so I maybe just go ahead and add some blue too to make it a deeper green. So we're adding blue to our already tissue colored green, and we're going to paint our palm tree in this kind of green color, like that. 
And I think for the background, boys and girls, we're just going to colour it a lovely sky blue colour because um, basically the sky is blue and we're just having fun with colours, mixing it and trying to put it together to make it look like um, a visually pleasing painting. So I'm just doing that very quickly so that we can I can post this in my YouTube channel so that the student will be able to get hold of it for tomorrow because the 4-H uh, Clubites they have a meeting tomorrow and I just want to have it there ready for those who want to check out my video and be prepared so they have their um, and so all they would need to is concentrate on painting this uh, beautiful image of the spirit of 4-H. Like I told you, 4-H is all about environment. It's all about you being together, uniting together and doing stuff together as a group and uh, to impact the world basically. And our little 4-H club in, in Comment Prep, uh, quite a vib vibrant group. Um, yeah, it's done many different, uh, they do agriculture, they have their own little garden, and they're doing, they're thriving very well. Our group, I'm proud to say that uh, our group leaders are doing a wonderful job. So that's that. I'm going to, I may have to fix it up afterwards, maybe outline it in black after it's dried. And I'm just going to now have another shade of green. This time it's going to be a brighter shade of green for our plants here. Now there's this kind of plant um, that has a red heart a red middle and so I think I'm going to do this uh, <laughs> uh, imitate this uh, uh, green leaf plant I, I'm not even sure of the name um, but it's very common in Dominica it's it's green on the outside and on the inside it's red and white and it's such a beautiful um, I'm surprised that you know, I don't see it much in in different flower displays that we have in our church. But and it's such a beautiful, vibrant flower. So I just have one more here, and sometimes the middle part is white, or sometimes it has a deep, a beautiful pinkish, reddish color in the middle, like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I don't want it to, you know, just have it like that. And I'm going to get my red, my pinkish red. It'll be a pinkish reddish color, I think. So we just take add it to this. Beautiful. It's actually like the shape of a heart, which I think is quite pretty. Very nice. All right. So, boys and girls, we've done that. Then we've got another type of leaf there. Sometimes we have some leaf that has orange in it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some orange. I have. We have all beautiful plants in Dominica. Oh my goodness, you would. All these budding artists out there, you all would love Dominica just for the art alone. It's, it's such a beautiful island um, with uh, so many things to see and visit. I did a video of uh, our Berry Lake. It's a, a big, a very big lake and it's so beautiful 
and I tried to show the reflections of the northern lights, although we never will see northern lights in Dominica, however, I just tried it anyway, and show the reflection of the lights in the lake, and it looks so beautiful. And not forgetting our 4H logo actually is a bright, it's a deep green actually, not a bright but deep green. So I'm going to go ahead and add some blue, more blue to this already mixed green. So as you can see here, this painting is predominantly different shades of green, which is all good, tertiary colours. So um, by adding blue, a primary colour, we had another shade of green. So you're going to see all different shades of green in this logo. So we're just going to add this uh, green here which has a lot of water so it lightens up a little bit but I don't mind that because we want the H in the four the four H's to appear in each of the loo, um, section of the leaf there we go and uh, we're gonna ha we have another leaf up here boys and girls so I'm gonna paint that in um, another shade of green so I'm just going to add a bit of green here to this color and uh, yeah it's, it's just a little bit deeper than the green that we have here and I think I'm going to use that same green on our palm to distinguish between the parrot's wing and the palm leaves which can be a little bit confusing if you had to look at it so i'll go over the leaf the um, wing one more time but i really wanted to highlight i want to highlight this palm leaf because i want it to show that it's it's in it's the leaf is like hiding the um, parrot who's just poking his head between it. So I think I'm going to add another shade. I'll leave the green there. I'm going to let it dry. Then I'll come back and I'll put one more layer here. And, you know, boys and girls, we have to love what we do, right? 4-H is a love, uh, has to show love in, in what they do. So I'm going to add... Um, oh, some red to show that they are committed members. These are members who are committed and love what they do. So we're going to have um, some red hearts poking up around the parrot as well. So I'm just going to paint Heart there and this one here like that good um, there's no more hearts I can go ahead and put one in myself put one go ahead and put my own heart in there all right and um, the beautiful butterfly, I'm going to paint in pink. Take a little bit of that and we're going to add some water to it and uh, color the wings in this beautiful pinkish color. Maybe we can add some purple, a different shade of purple to this to 
make it a vibrant bag. And one more. Yeah, so boys and girls, uh, as we continue with this um, depiction of the spirit of 4-H, uh, yeah, let's um, gonna activate this purple. So there's some purple here, but it's a bit too deep. I want to reactivate it to make it a bit lighter. So we're going to have a pinky purpley butterfly, pinky purpley butterfly like that and then we'll have um, highlights, some orange, bright orange highlights and we have some orange here so we're gonna just add this orange highlights right here right here right there like that yeah I want to add some yellow because yellow is happiness, yellow is fun. Um, so I'm just going to bring in some yellow there in the circles we have. And um, we just mix that with some orange to make it a bright combination of colors. Take some orange here. I want to add some yellow, like I said. Like that. And then the background, boys and girls, I'm going to put in blue. So, I'm going to wait for this to dry because if I go and add blue, it may make it um, smudge it up a little bit. So nice and dry boys and girls, we're going to add some lovely blue to our um, background and uh, yeah, then we'll be finished. So we're just going to add the blue around in between our leaves being very careful that we don't go in between on top of the already painted because we don't want it to bleed too much and then we go around here everything we will just paint around actually that's supposed to be purple so i'm just gonna go ahead that's supposed to be green, you know. I just realized that's part of the leaf and that's purpley. Uh, let me see. I'll put, I'll put it blue anyway. It doesn't matter. I'll just go over it. Because that's part of the body of the... Remember, the leaf is kind of partially camouflage in the... Um, the Cicero parrot. And so, yeah to be very conscious of our, what we are doing so that it doesn't look 
weird after it's all dried and everything but it's just our creation in any case and uh, yeah though we want it to be as best we can uh, it's a learning process as well boys and girls it really is and the main point of this activity is for us to have fun along the way and make us conscious about our environment where we live and uh, yeah to be responsible because uh, we are here to um, protect you know God gave us that um, ability so therefore we have to use it well and we have to protect our endangered we have to protect our mother earth and uh, the ways we can do it is by uh, showing love and care and responsibility be responsible for our um, actions whatever we may do so we're gonna continue with this and I'm going to uh, let it dry then afterwards I'm going to outline the edges that needs to be outlined and then I'll get back to you when I am complete or when this painting is complete so here it is boys and girls lovely and dry and you can see that I I dabbed my purple I made an I put another layer of a purple to give this kind of ruffled look feathery look and I'm going to outline I added a, a lighter green to bring out um, the leaf to show that it is in front of the bird and uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, like this um, leaf is really lost so I'm going to um, outline it to make it look more like a leaf and in each of these leaves I'm going to write down um, a, a word that, that in, describes um, uh, inspires 4-H clubites so uh, I'm going to be using words like protect, unite or unity um, um, and words like that and uh, I'll see you in a minute to see the final design and there you are boys and girls there's the painting to show the spirit of 4-H in our beautiful island Dominica Confen Prep Confen Preparatory School 4-H Club I can't wait to see your end uh, inspiring uh, painting so uh, please share with me when you when you've completed it bye